Welcome back. Our smartphones make us all photographers these days, and we all know that using the right lighting and angles are key when taking a selfie. But did you know there are some makeup products that are supposed to actually help you take a better selfie? Is selfie makeup a matter of marketing, or can you really make your close-up look picture perfect? Nicole Borders admits it. She's a selfie addict. Sometimes you take a hundred selfies to get one nice one. <laughs> <laughs> the college student and aspiring model is not alone. Young and old, people can't get enough of selfies, and the makeup industry is taking notice. All you have to do is go online and find tutorials or ads from major beauty companies promoting various products that promise to leave you selfie ready in an instant. For example, CoverGirl has a whole Instaglam product line, and Maybelline has a marbleized bake eyeshadow that's supposed to offer dimensional color and reflective finish, similar to filters and other effects available on your smartphone. Suzette Bourgeois is a professional makeup artist. She has seen a growing popularity in clients wanting to be photo ready at all times and feels these products simply give an illusion. When it comes to selfie ready, it's all about lighting. It's all about angles. For some people, taking a great selfie is truly a work of art. I like to show off my skills and I think that's what a lot of people like to do. They sh like to show off their makeup and artistic skills. Board certified dermatologist Deanna Glaser explains makeup companies are just using simple science to create these selfie like effects. Different particles can reflect light in different ways um, and you can actually make shadows uh, with makeup. But Dr. Glaser cautions that consumers should stick to one new product at a time when it comes to makeup. The times that I see problems with um, makeup sensitivity comes when um, individuals are compounding these products where, you know, they're putting different things together. And even though some of these products are all natural, all natural isn't always good for the skin. Suzette tries to avoid products that have lots of extra fillers or dyes in order to create selfie effects. If you want more of a cool tone look that they're like getting on the filters and through Instagram and stuff like that, you have to be aware of the, the dyes that they're putting in there. Nicole says she'll continue to use makeup so she's always selfie ready, but doesn't want to take herself too seriously either. Taking something too serious, it kind of just like takes the fun out of it. Um, and it's just a picture. But before you buy your selfie, makeup experts recommend avoiding skin products with alcohol and other abrasive ingredients. Walter, are you going to take those <laughs> tips? No, I think I'm going to stick with the uh, Valencia filter. Yeah, that's the thing. Valencia. Vanessa that's actually favorite. did a story once on an app that sort of can make you over. I'll just use that. Way cheaper. <laughs>